Hello YouTube. <clears throat> I made, uh, made a Bedini wheel. I just wanted to make a quick video of it. Um, now I wanted to let my subscribers know that it's been about a year since I put uh, made my um, debate delayed lens effect videos. I still have my high impedance coil, obviously. Won't part with that. Um, but uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I've been busy doing a lot of things. But um, <clears throat> I've moved and different things. But I'm getting time to get back into this. And I just wanted to let people know that, you know, I'm still thinking about this. And actually, about a week ago, had something, you know, connected some dots, more dots, about this um, bifiler coil, or uh, high impedance coil. <clears throat> Actually it is bifiler right now, I'm going to take the top winding off. I just had a small, another winding on there for what I was doing in the past. And there's Ed. Hi Ed. Ed's back. Uh, because I found that um, the underlying effect here, this delayed lens effect, I think maybe some of us know, is um, related to what Ed Leeds Scalman was doing with his PMHs. I think they're related ideas. I think some of the things Tesla came up with, uh, some of the more unknown, lesser talked about, uh, <laughs> more amazing things that he came up with, um, were based on this same basic principle that this delayed lens effect is based on. Thane C. Hines. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description box of a video I just watched <clears throat> the other day. I've seen it in the past. I love this video. But it's, uh, he's got two coils wired up in a certain way and he defeats lens, you know, and it's the same, same principle, underlying principle. But, <laughs> I got reading that night and happened upon two patents. One from not so long ago, within the last 20 years. And the patent from the second half of the 1800s, which I now think that all of this is, is based on. This delayed lens, Ed, Ed's work, Thancy Hines. This delayed lens, Tesla, some of Tesla's stuff, <laughs> a lot of it actually. But um, the guy that wrote this patent, I can't even find a bio on him, which I find crazy. You know, that will make me investigate till I'm dead. <laughs> Anyways, I've been reading and reading and reading and reading. And I want to do some testing, <clears throat> and <laughs> this brings me to the purpose of the video. I want to do some testing, and I need a higher, higher frequency, higher speed wheel. Uh, right now I have a chunk of um, stick tack right here. I don't want the magnets lined up with the core um, for a couple different reasons. Um, don't mind this chunk of uh, <laughs> stick tack. That's my wheel weight. Um, it's pretty balanced. I can make this go faster, but it's it's pretty fast right now. Um, it's a, uh, what do you call it? VCR. A VCR uh, bearing. And I've got it, some nails nailed in the board and some, uh-huh, some uh, zip ties holding it down. Staying true to my form. And this is a Daft Man version of the Bedini circuit. Um, I've got a 500 ohm variable resistor. I've got a 550 ohm resistor in here. I was just tuning it and finding its sweet spot, which is, seems to be uh, somewhere near 650 ohms is what it likes. <clears throat> and again, I could change that. I could make it different. And all that. But, my intention here in the next while is to 
do some testing with this high impedance. Uh, first of all, one thought I've come across from one of the patents, and then the uh, other patent from uh, the 1800s that doesn't involve a wheel or anything. But things have come together, I think, in my brain. I'm not going to elaborate more than that. I have in the past, and it's, you know, the learning process. Sharing your learning process on YouTube is ballsy to begin with, but, um, you know, I'll be making more vids in the next few, you know, in the days to come. I'm, I'm, uh, I've been up till 3 in the morning. I was on a stretch where I couldn't sleep past 10. I wake up on the couch every night. Now I'm on a stretch where I'm up till 3 every night reading about this stuff again. So, and hunting Bigfoot. <laughs> but anyways, uh, just wanted to show you this. My battery's dying already. I'll have to charge that up. But we'll get rid of my stick tack. Get her going. It takes a second to get up to speed. You can hear it probably. Uh, this is my very first uh, coil I ever made, making a Bedini. I still have it. I've added wire to it, taken away, but right now it's pretty much exactly like it was. Uh, it's got a little more wire on it, a little bit, than the very first Bedini I made three years ago or so. But this is the gauge wire uh, Bedini calls for. Uh, I believe 23 and 25 gauge. what I'm going to be doing so expect you know I got I have two more coils to wind I'll probably get working on that tonight but um, I'm not going to talk about efficiency and all that um, if you're making these things then you're learning how to tune them and all that anyway so but that's what I'm going to be doing I have a couple more coils to wind and uh, to play with this idea that I I'm going to try here and then um, I have another idea that I'm going to leap into. But they're all essentially based on the delayed lens effect type basis idea, which has been around for 150 years in these freaking corporations. Man, some days I just want to start. I'm going to start a riot. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. That's a video I saw the other day. If you want to laugh, type in I must I'm a start a riot. It's a song made from tweaks from Obama so forth. Funny, funny. Anyways, there you go. I'll talk to you later.